Okay, quick video uh, in response to a comment I received about the uh, enemy white color shader affecting all of the enemies. Now you can see in mine, that's not happening. We go down to active, right? Just affects one. That's the way that it's meant to work. Um, so the first thing you wanna check is that local to scene is true. I may not have gone over that. I think I just dragged the, the shader in there and uh, kind of glossed over it. I'm not exactly sure how I handled it. Um, but basically, just make sure you have your shader. You make a new shader um, down here, right? It might be a little confusing, but you have a shader material which holds the shader, okay? And then in that shader, here's the code that you want to put. And I call mine um, white color. That just seems like the right name for it, what it does, right? So you can freeze frame that, get that code, and then you can save it. You can either save the shader code or the material. It probably makes sense just to save the, the material. And then you can reuse that anywhere in your project. Uh, but the important thing is local to scene. And if you look at that tooltip, that's gonna tell you exactly um, what you're looking for, right? It's basically saying every time this the scene that it's in is instanced, we're gonna make a copy of this um, material so that when we change the state of that material, it's only going to affect that single instance. And that's exactly what we need. Another thing I found through testing and also just experience, I remember this happening before, uh, if I duplicate directly, right, from the scene tree, watch what happens. I turn active on. See, these are like permanently linked. I don't know why that behavior exists, but it does. So what you want to do is um, if you're going to make an instance of the enemy button, you either want to do it through code or just drag it in from the file explorer or the file system, they call it. And watch, if I go down to active, see how it only impacts that new one. And then through code, that would look something like, I don't know, maybe you need this later on. It's gonna be uh, enemy button dot instance. And then you add child inst. So we create the instance and then we give it a home. We add it to the, the scene. You would specifically wanna put it under enemies menu because that's what we're using here, right? There are different ways, different solutions. Uh, let me know if that works or doesn't work and uh, I'll be happy to help you. Um, again, I'm gonna put the code up, pause it, copy that down if you didn't already. And uh, you know, make sure to check for typos and all that. And good luck. Thanks for watching.